welcome, friend. You're welcome. Y'all have fun. Get some good shots. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. to our control center for a comprehensive safety briefing, and then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me, let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon, and I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, I'd be traveling with you. Right now, our dino should be about here at the very end of the Cretaceous period. That's where you're going today. I've arrived, it seems, just in time to correct a little misstatement. Dr. Marsh. That is impossibly close to the giant asteroid impact that destroyed most life forms on Earth. Our tools are designed to take you to the early Cretaceous period. And I can assure you that all time rovers have been securely locked on those coordinates. That's right. See? Securely locked. Access denied. <laughs> Continue. Of course. We were just talking about seat belts. Plug them in. Use them. It can get kind of choppy out there, so keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. Flash photography? I wouldn't. It alters the homing signal, and that's not good. Oh, and one more thing. Those locked coordinates? We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon, then I'll enlarge the transport field, and boom, you're back with one additional passenger extra large. And don't worry about that asteroid. You'll be in and out of there before it even breaks the atmosphere. Trust me, what could go wrong? Hey, it's me again. Remember, only you guys are going on this special mission, so don't tell anyone. <laughs>
Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? It's Dyracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Polyoramus. Hadrosaur. Raptor. Time to get serious. Locking the pilot on only signal now. I'm tracking a big dino on the scope. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Identify. Carnotaurus. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow. And identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Asteroid impact in 90 seconds. We better move it. Pterodactyl. Incoming! We can't stop now! Keep going! Keep going! Compsognathus. Computer, what's happening? Loss of traction. Four-wheel drive! Move it! Warning, meteor strike. Evasive maneuvers! Computer, now what? Carnotaurus. That's it. Abort mission. Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Break yourself! This is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! You made it! I knew you would, and guess who made it back with you? I'd better find it before security does. Thanks for everything! Please gather personal belongings from the pouch in front of you and remain seated until the rover comes to a complete stop. Hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the timer.